Ladies and gentlemen, Mike here at Game From Scratch, and there is one scary-ass headline going around right now. Godot viruses. Yes, there's malware being spread using the Godot game engine, and I know this one sounds terrifying, especially when the source of this information is Checkpoint Research, which is a very legit security firm. And you see here, you go to the front page right now, and you will see Gaming Engines, an undetected playground for malware loaders. And this one, again, it makes it sound like if you have Godot installed, you could be infected. That is not the case. What it is basically saying is engines like Godot can be used to run scripts no different than if you were using say uh, PowerShell or Python on your computer. Uh, Godot is basically a compiler that gives you system level access so if someone gets you to run a compromised Godot program yeah that will uh, infect your computer and someone's done that. So someone is exploiting it with something called God Loader. I'll get to some details of that in a second but the key points are Checkpoint Research discovered a new technique taking advantage of the Godot engine a popular open source engine to execute crafted GD script code that triggers malicious commands and delivers malware. Technique remains undetected by almost all antivirus engines in virus total. Uh, Checkpoint uh, identified God Loader, a loader that employs this technique. The threat actor behind this malware has been utilizing it since Ju um, June 29th, 2024, infecting over 17 thousand machines. The malicious god loader is distributed by the Stargazers Ghost Network, a GitHub network that distributes malware as a service. Throughout September and October, approximately 200 repositories with over 225 Stargazers were used to uh, legitimize the repositories distributing the malware. This new technique allows threat actors to target and infect devices across multiple platforms such as Windows, Mac, OS, Linux, Android, and iOS. Checkpoint Research demonstrates how this multi-platform technique can successfully drop payloads in Linux and Mac OS, and a potential attack can target over over 1.2 million users of Godot developed games. Um, that is wrong. Uh, that is just a patently wrong statement there. Uh, you need to have uh, Godot. So I guess if you infected it into a game that was Godot based that, and then invoked your code, maybe. But that's kind of like saying any game or any tool that uses Python that could be forced to run a Python script uh, could be hacked. So it, it's a very um, confusing statement. We'll get to the summary in just a second. It's nowhere near as scary as it actually sounds, but it's definitely something you're going to want to be aware of. And it's actually getting press as well, because you're going to see over on bleeping computer, hackers abuse popular Godot game engine to infect thousands of PCs. And this is all coming from the same engine, same um, root article. Um, and you're going to notice right here, uh, it is used, it also used leverage Godot's flexibility and GDScript programming language, or scripting capabilities uh, to execute arbitrary code and bypass detection systems using the game engine PCK files, uh, which package game assets to embed harmful scripts. Uh, now, the big story here seems to be that the tools out there for scanning aren't scanning GDScript and Godot files. That seems to be the real takeaway here. Uh, but we have an answer now from the Godot team, uh, and they summarize it kind of in a much more peace of mind kind of way. So uh, we now have this blog on the Godot statement from the uh, Godot security team, which I think maybe just formed. Um, security researchers at Checkpoint Research have published a report about God Loader, a malware loader using Godot as its runtime to execute malicious code and infect unaware users with known malware. Based on the report, affected users thought they were downloading and executing cracks for paid software, but instead executed the malware loader. So if you are in this area right there, if you've been downloading cracks, well, I hate to tell you, but people downloading cracks are the people that get all the viruses. It is like the playground for viruses. So uh, this is one of the areas that you're going to catch on if you're in that area. Uh, so as the report states, the vulnerability is not specific to Godot. The Godot game engine is a programming system with a scripting language. It is akin to, for example, Python and Ruby runtimes, or my earlier example of PowerShell. It is possible to write malicious programs in any programming language. We do not believe that Godot is particularly more or less suited to do so than any other such programs. Users who merely have a Godot game engine or uh, Godot game or editor installed on their system are not specifically at risk. We encourage people to only execute software from trusted sources, whether it's written using Godot or any other programming system. For some more technical details, Godot does not register a file handler for the PCK file format. This means that a malicious actor always has to ship the Godot runtime, so the Godot EXE, together with the PCK file. User will always have to unpack the runtime together with the PCK to the same location and then execute the runtime. So this is where a Godot game could potentially be exploited, but they would have to convince you to bring 
and load a PCK file into the same folder. And I think that's probably the ones that they used, is they used Godot games as the ones to hack, so it would make sense on a consistent level, but that is a guess on my end. Uh, there is uh, no way for a malicious actor to create a one-click exploit uh, barring other OS-level vulnerabilities. If such an OS-level vulnerability were used, then Godot would not be a particularly attractive option due to the size of the runtime. This is um, similar to writing malicious software in Python or Ruby. The malicious actor will have to ship a Python EXE or Ruby EXE together with their malicious program. Good security practices. Uh, kind of boils down to it. Only download and execute software from trusted sources. Um, on Windows and Mac OS, verify the executable is signed and notarized on Mac OS by trusted party. Be wary of executing cracked software, which is the prime attack vector for malicious actors, and that has always been true. Going back 30 years of computer usage, that's been true. Uh, and be wary of executing software, even from people you know. If you can't confirm that their account hasn't been compromised, a very common attack vector, specifically game developers, is for Discord accounts to get hacked, and then malicious actors use them to send malicious downloads to their friends in private messages. Uh, and then you can report security issues there. So that is essentially the story. Um, it's not quite a nothing burger. It's something that you want to be aware of. Um, and it's one of those things, I don't find this shocking at all. Godot has always had the system level abilities to be exploited to create malware or virus. Basically, any programming language with system level access does. What this is telling us is that someone did it. So someone has created a PCK file uh, that, along with the Godot EXE, is hosting and downloading malware. So that's one of those things you want to be aware of. I think the biggest takeaway here, honestly, is the fact that the existing antivirus software is not detecting this. And I think what they're going to do is basically like they would scan Python files for Python code. You're going to have to start scanning GD script at some point in the future. But uh, honestly, I, I think it's mostly a nothing burger, especially when you come back and look at uh, Godloader. Like, whoa, that is terrifying. Like, like, when you start with this, it looks like a very big friggin' deal. And the truth of the matter is, eh, like it's not something to ignore. Uh, but again, any program capable of executing arbitrary script that can be uh, access your system, which is basically every game engine out there, it's capable of doing this. There's nothing really magical about it. So I, I would not be overly concerned about this. If you have Godot installed, it does not mean you have a virus or malware. It also doesn't mean that you are open to be infected by a virus or malware. What it does mean is don't just arbitrarily download other people's projects because, yeah, they can exploit your system. And antivirus is not detecting it. So that's it. Let me know what you think of Godloader. Uh, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.